Hey guys, it's Adam AK Swimming Bird, and welcome back for some more Animal Crossing New Leaf. As you can see, I've set my little tent up. Very simple. I'm guessing aloe goes in the bottom uh, side of the tent, even though I'm not sure feng shui is even applied yet because it's a green item. Basically, you just place items uh, in your house in certain spots, and they will uh, give you increased bells and chances to find items and stuff because of where they're placed. I think right goes on the right wall, or red goes, <laughs> yeah, red goes on the right wall, left, uh, yellow goes on the left wall, <laughs> and uh, green goes on the bottom. I think those are the only types. There might be a blue, I can't remember. Maybe that was only in the first one. I believe I have enough bells. Yep, I still got enough bells to buy a few things. Maybe even a baby panda for my, uh, for my house to keep me from getting lonely in that tent at night. So let's get our shovel and let's get our uh, fishing rod and then we can start really getting some bells. Ah, shovel, fine item, yes. All right, give me that. Nom, 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 nom. Okay. By the way, uh, do you want to know how to use the item? I pretty much know how to use it. I'm pretty good, thanks. Understood. Well then, thank you kindly for your purchase. So happy. I don't know what that... <laughs> it looks like he left his lunch in the corner. It's not even... Like, it doesn't look like it's even for sale. Let's grab the fishing rod, and I think I... Yep, I still have enough for that sexy little baby panda bear <laughs> in the corner. <laughs> and I'm, uh... Nope, I'm good. I'm also gonna grab whatever paper that is so I can start writing letters to people. It's gonna be so much faster to type with the little touch screen than, uh... Then with the Wii one where I had to use the Wii pointer, I, I had a USB keyboard that I, I used to use for the Wii one, which was so much faster, but I'm, I'm glad that we have this touch screen now because it's a happy medium. Lovely paper. Perfect. <laughs> Let's, uh, I want to see what it looks like real quick. Oh, it's got little hearts. All right, I guess, I guess the mayor can use that for his stationery. Okay, we pretty much cleaned him out, except for wrapping paper and his gross lunch on the floor. <laughs> All right, that hot dog actually is looking pretty good. I haven't eaten much today. I've been too excited, and I've uh, I went to get uh, go out and get this game. So, so yeah. Uh, anything else to do here, really? Not really. Let's go earn some bells. Head back into Gooston. I guess this is all part of Gooston, since Main Street, you know. It's another part of it. I really like the train and the main street being right there. Like, it all feels a lot more quaint than uh, I'm used to with the Animal Crossing. Like, City Folk seemed a little bit like it didn't it didn't ring true completely for me because it didn't feel as small towny. So we're going to go do this and try to get some bells. Nope, that's not one. I think I can cover these up with my foot. Yep, even when I'm holding the shovel. Awesome. We just gotta I gotta learn all the rock locations, guys. Here's another one. I could probably yeah. So I heard that something else can happen when you hit a rock with a shovel. Oops, not there. Someone else was also telling me there's a nicer strategy to do this. Yeah, here we go. Money, 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 money. Supposedly there's a better strategy to give you eight spots, but uh, I'm not sure. If I hadn't hit that or gotten the one on the side I probably could have gotten more money but it's okay this feels a lot faster too I feel like it was like so slow collecting items in the uh, in the other one I'm curious to try to hit more rocks but I won't subject you guys to that because I heard something else can can happen with the rocks let's head on in here I'm really glad I uh, I did play city folk even though you know I had played it before it really refreshed me with how the game works and I feel like it's gonna speed these videos up a lot more you're not going to watch me, like, trying to learn how to, you know, do basic things since I got my memory refreshed. Uh, should we... Ooh, yeah. There's a couple holes I want to dig up. What's that? Nice fossil. It's funny seeing some of these old, uh... These old, like, mo... It, like, it looks like the fossil from the game, obviously. Like, it's the same style as every Animal Crossing, but it's, like, better... I don't know. It's just higher quality and looks better. Uh, at first when I saw the characters being like taller, it was a little strange. I wasn't sure what to what to think about, you know, them being so lanky. But I'm glad they did that because now we have the pants, we got the shoes, we got the socks. I can even go in here. <laughs> I probably shouldn't do this, but <laughs> I just want to see what it... If my, I wonder if my socks would get dirty if I just... <laughs> I'm just going to run around in socks. <laughs> I'm the mayor. I could do what I want in Gustin, okay? So, uh, oh, here's another one. I knew there was one around here. Another fossil. I dug up a fossil. Everyone's got fishing fever now that it's summer, apparently. They're, oh wait, 
What is she? Yeah, she's got her fishing rod. What's up, Brofina? What's the haps? Uh, well, hello again. Aren't you busy, Adam? Was there something you wanted? Want to do, give me a job or something? To make this short, there are two ways to make a lot of bells around here, Adam. First, by catching insects and fish. So by fishing rod and neck, you can sell what you catch. Secondly, by digging... Yep, you know. You can sell your findings at retail or donate them. That, that owl's got a good heart, but he won't pay you a single bell. You're the charitable type. We're getting any other subs. Buy yourselves a net. Yep. You can find that equipment, Timmy Tommy's store. So that's one reason to check other than finding unique stuff. I think Timmy and Tommy definitely seem to sell a lot of the stuff. So you're going to want to buy stuff from them, it looks like, and sell stuff to retail. Makes sense. Man, even the water looks so much better. It's ugh, I'm just in love with this game already, and I just started playing it that long ago. Come here, little fish. Come on, little guy. Bite it. I'm not going to get the vibration when they uh, when they bite it, so i got to... Gotta make sure I'm paying attention. What is a called a kitty fish? I'll put it in a chili dish. <laughs> so I can see, I can look in the encyclopedia. Is that up here? No, that's my patterns. Oh, I looked at these off camera, but look at the stag one. That's so cool. I might replace the flag until I can get a nice, like, goosey flag going on. So does it give me, aw, oh, that's sweet. Tells me the season, tells me where I got it, my record. I don't remember, did the other one keep track of size like that? Because that seems really cool. Because then even if you've caught all the fish, you can try to like break your record. Stuff like that. So I'm going to check around here. Anything? Yep, there's another little fish in this pond. Hopefully he'll turn around now that I've got my bobber right on his butt. Come on, little guy. Turn around. It's right next to you. You can get it. Come on. Come on. I always sound like the guy from uh, Jurassic Park when I do that. <laughs> Come on, little guy. Come out of the egg, little Velociraptor. Is it flowing the wrong way? I'm still getting used to the 3D. Uh, this is my first 3DS game, because I just got the 3DS uh, yesterday, or you know, the day before recording this. This is all videos done on my first day on Sunday. But uh, but yeah, I, I just got it. I've got the 3D kind of like in the mid range, maybe towards the low end, because I'm still getting used to it. But uh, but yeah, man. I gotta get used to it not vibrating. He's going into the rock! He's swimming so crazy. Is this a tadpole? Yeah. Aw. Sweet. I didn't know the tadpoles could be caught. It's probably one of the new fish species. Oh! I just heard a frog. The frog's pissed that I stole its baby. Come on. I want a, I want a little frog in my house. I like keeping some of these little creatures. Come on, grab it. I know you want it. Be with your baby. They swim so crazy, they like go into the side. Yep. Look at that little frog, he's gonna kick his little legs. Nope. Okay, so yeah, everything I catch is gonna get donated at first, but that's the way that I like to do it. It makes more sense that you'd, you know, wanna donate stuff to the to the museum when you're the mayor, since you have like a vested interest in the town. I forgot that I don't have any shoes on. Let's go see what uh Isabel's up to, if I can do any mayorly duties today. Oh, and Mayor Adam, is everything alright? If you're troubled about what to do, seeing that you just moved here, I could give you some advice. Alright. I think I probably have to pay off my house before I can do many mare things. Okay, and give you advice on making the most of your life here. After all, it's my job to make sure being a resident in Gooston is top-notch, Adam. However, I might need to get really detailed and talk for long periods of time. So you know, it might be hard to listen to me go on and on. If you're in a hurry, hold down B and I'll make sure to talk fast. Let's see. What kind of advice would you go be good for you right now? Ah, come to think of it. Uh, do you feel like you've gotten to know everyone in town yet? I bet all our residents wish they could have gotten, become better friends with you, Adam. If you see people from town walking around, feel free to stop them for a chat. Hmm, what else? I got it. I've written a letter before. Everyone in town loves letters. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Postal system. Okay, I've got some stationery I can write. Oh, she gave me some paper. Sweet. I think if you ask her for advice, she'll give you, like, I, like she might even give me, like, a some foreign fruit or like a net or something or whatever to help me out. Sweet. So can I mail her stuff too? That would be awesome. <laughs> Don't write anything dirty, kids. Alright. So I, I wonder if that stationery looks better than uh, than what I got. I'll send some people some fruit and type them some nice little letters. But yeah, I've got the uh, I've got the lovely stationery. I'm curious what this one looks like. I need to uh, I need to replace this flag with something. Let's see what this other stationery is. Lined paper. Okay. Well, I'll worry about that later. 
I've got almost enough to pay off my house already now. What did I... Jeez, what did I sell that I got so much money? Uh, I don't even remember now. How did I get so much more money? Oh, I got the rock. Okay. Can't stop the rock. So yeah, we've got a few things that I need to donate to the museum. And, uh... I'll probably fill up on some more stuff. Let's head over to the museum. Why don't we do that to finish out this nice, relaxing episode? I really wish I had a bug's net because look at all these. Oh, well, there's a little bee. He went through my head. I've just, if you've been watching my city folk, you heard my story about the bee. I'm still paranoid. It's like, what? If, what if that bee has been in here somewhere, waiting? He's waiting for me to get fully distracted with the new game, and then he'll pounce. So let's do a few uh, museum descriptions. Let me know in the comments if you like me reading these, because I don't have to read all of them, obviously. I think they're interesting myself, but I know they'll take up a bit of the episode if I do, so... So let me know how you feel about me reading these little guys. Okay. Oh dear, pardon me. Welcome to the Gooston Museum. Hmm, oh, uh, how, how may I be of service? Let's, uh, let's test out these fossils here. I've got two fossils. Can I, like, do both of them? Yes! Okay, cool. I don't have to wait and tell him again. I've got two fossils. Let's see what he says. Oh, more than one, I see. Let's take a closer look. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. all of these are rare fossils in our family museum's collection. We have a knack for finding fossils. I'm incredibly jealous. I'm going to convince you to donate them to for Gustin's cultural development. In the meantime, I shall return these to you. Do you think about donating them, though? Okay, did he identify them and then just make a donation? What would you like to donate? So he assessed them really quick. Let's do... Oh, Sabertooth Torso. That's pretty cool. How about I donate both of them? Can I do both? Or will he only tell me about... Yeah. I hope he tells me about each one. Yes, yeah, so we glad he takes off your hands. No, I need to... Thank you very much. Okay. Let's make a donation. I want to try donating multiple things at the same time, but I don't know if he's going to skip the, con the, uh, the description. So let's go one by one. Because I want to hear the descriptions. Ho oh, ho, a killifish, is it? Uh, the killifish reminds me of a time when I was still in my baby feathers. I beg your pardon, I was about to go in the feather. Uh, anyway, I promise you we'll take good care of it, yeah? I'll just play it later with a detailed description, so please come back to see. Okay, so I can get more detailed description if I go, like, look at it. That's cool. Let's just keep giving him stuff. I'll give him the tadpole, and then he'll be like, hey, you got a frog too? That's pretty cool. Alright, here you are. Eccentric mare is just catching amphibians. Ooh, a tadpole, is it? The tadpole reminds me of a time when I was still my baby fella. Oh. Oh, wait. He's about to go on a tangent there. Oh, so... I can go look at the detailed descriptions later. Okay. So basically, I just want to donate all these at once. And then if I want to look at the descriptions, I can do that. That's pretty cool. They don't make you go... I kind of liked him saying them so I can do the silly voice. But, you know, it's fine. So give me the frog. He keeps talking about his baby feathers <laughs> when he was a fledgling. So I miss the I miss the roost being here. That's the coffee shop, but I think we can build it on our own. So after a certain point, we will we will build it in the town of Gustin. Uh, I really like that uh, there's so many goals. Like that was the thing in the old games. I would upgrade my house and I would kind of you know run out of goals. But now. Uh, now there's so many things I have to take care of this whole town. I gotta upgrade and build new places and stuff, so I'm super excited to see how that goes. How are you guys doing over here? I'm gonna... I kinda want... Oh, Genji's here. What's he up to? Hi. <clears throat> Hiya, Adam. Getting size for some new sweatpants, Otaku. So what's up, bro? <laughs> I want to chat. Clothes are all about mobility. If you have the most mobility on the battlefield, you win, Otaku. <laughs> I like my little shorts, but these Kill Bill pants are pretty cool. I might save them for later. I don't know. I'll, I'll buy them and put them on now, but let's, uh, they don't seem to fit my outfit right now, so, uh, so I'll, I'm, I'm, let's see what they look like right now. I'll throw them on. Red boat sh Oh, let's put my shoes back on. I don't need to waste space. And we'll put my pants on. Is that going to take my shorts off? Or, oh, those are just like the default shorts, I guess, so I don't lose them or anything if I take them off. I got my baby panda. I'll leave those for now. They really clash with my <laughs> the rest of my outfit. But, uh, okay, so I got those. It's just the same shirt that I got over there. I need to design a new shirt, but, you know, first, I want to get my, my things from over here. As much as I love the blue Pikmin one, I kind of like this baseball cap. 
And I'm wondering if I can change the design on it, because that would be awesome. Oh, it's a superhero mask. That's kind of expensive, but I'll take it. Alright. And then, I think I kind of like this. Look at that! <laughs> oh, this is such a hard choice, because there is the punk guy, like, the little quaff thing. The regent. It doesn't look like a regent wing wig it looks like a uh, like a greaser guy's hair but there's also the baseball cap uh i can't make a decision i kind of want the cap i think that's a nice little little hat i'll grab that i have enough money where i might just buy this anyways because i think i'm gonna regret it if i don't it really looks like a greaser's thing okay and then i'll also get sorry i'm buying like everything guys but <laughs> I have a hard time not getting all the stuff when I'm like, oh, this is cool, this is cool, let's grab this, let's grab this. Okay. Now I need to I need to devote the rest of my money to uh, <laughs> to paying off Tom Nook or else I'm gonna I'm gonna go broke here before I can get my house even built. So let's uh let's see how I look in these these new things. Oops, grab it up drag it over. Look at that. That is definitely a greaser's haircut. That is not a regent's wig. I think they didn't want to say that you're, like, wearing a gangster thing or something. And then, what is my other thing? My superhero mask. That's sweet. I actually look like a robber because I have a striped shirt. What's that little symbol on there? I don't know. I wonder if retail can, like, reskin my, my thing, though. You know, let's really, let's really look like a, uh, a punk by throwing this on. <laughs> hey, man, you got any smokes? Alright. <laughs> so let's, uh... I'll come back to Nooks in a little bit. I'm gonna go around, drop some stuff off, and when we're when I come back, I will. Uh, I'm gonna probably try to pay off my debt. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time for some more Animal Crossing: New Leaf. Goodbye.